Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to the Monster Jam OCD Evolution Series. This is the second half of the evolution of Gravedigger Diecast. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I will chapter this video out in case you guys don't want to watch everything, you can skip ahead. So anyway, with that said, we're gonna start right away to save some time on 2011 of Hot Wheels Monster Jam. For this year, we have the return of the blue panel Gravedigger. Again, this is not Gravedigger the Legend, but it is the Gravedigger number one body. They had two different variations this year, the first being this light variation, the light blue color, with some updated graphics. They added a couple new details onto the truck. It has a black roll cage with the plastic base, white headlights now being added onto the truck, as well as a dark blue variant, which is more accurate to the real life truck anyway. So they did two different uh, versions of it. And uh, there's the differences in those. So you actually see the uh, hood stripe also is added on there. So pretty cool. Uh, these are our first releases of Grape Digger. And then moving into the last new truck of the singles actually this year, it was the Travel Treads Grape Digger. And Travel Treads were the new series that you can actually remove the tires and put them onto the transport tires. Uh, so a cool little uh, series here, a realistic one uh, at that. And it was really awesome to see them do this new series. We also have a Grape Digger three pack, which includes that same grave digger as well as the dark blue variation of the blue grave digger and another release of the red primer grave digger this time with a matte clear coat so pretty cool to see this one return in this three pack that they had that year and we actually have one more multi-pack variation which is the return of the chrome grim grave digger but this time is actually a different release we have a new flame pattern here uh, this is often referred to as the blurry flames because they were kind of a weird overlapping color that didn't make much sense But it is an actual known variant. So this is a change on that chrome grim grave digger It also has transparent red decals to make that blood effect I actually forgot to mention that this is also the year that we start the snow treads Walmart exclusive series and grave digger did receive a release with the green roll cage and the snowy treads in this year so pretty awesome to see this as one of the first trucks of the snow treads and this will continue to be a snow treads truck uh, in the following years so there is the snowy grape digger from 2011 and we enter 2012 on another anniversary season this year is the 30th anniversary of grape digger and oh boy is it a heavy grape digger year at that the first main truck that we'll just quickly get through is the classic Grave Digger. It does get a release with that four-time championship roof during this year, but the big guns are actually the anniversary bodies, and there were three of them during the real-life circuit. So the first one being the black and green Grave Digger 30th anniversary body, so it had a big three and anniversary, uh, creating that scheme there, and the roof is the same as usual, so that's the main change here on the side panel. And then we have one of the two grim variants of the Gravedigger 30th anniversary bodies, the more decorated ones, which was the green uh, Gravedigger with the purple fog and the giant grim face and stacked logo, also featuring that same 30th anniversary style uh, side panel logo. We also have white flames and the roof here has bad to the bone for 30 years with all of Dennis's championships written out on tombstones. So really cool. It also features spectra flame uh, paint. So it does have a specialized paint color as well as the introduction of these bead locks into grave diggers uh, paint scheme. So you can see the new spectra flame uh, style bead locks included on that. We also have the secondary uh, pink color, which is the more popular one, which is the purple 30th anniversary grave digger. And you can see they reversed the scheme here. It has green uh, fog for the graveyard and then purple in the background with that spectral flame uh, purple pink color. It also has a purple roll cage, purple bead locks, and there is the roof just changed up for the 30th anniversary purple color. So there are the three 30th anniversary Grave Digger bodies. In addition to those, we have another Grave Digger 30th anniversary body, which was the introduction of the Color Shifter series. So this truck does change from this brownish color to green in either hot or cold water. So really cool, it goes back and forth and it has a green roll cage and green rims. So that's really, really cool. It also is one of those tilt off trucks. So you can actually lift the body up here, which is a cool feature and take it off if you choose to. Uh, there's that green color that actually reveals to in uh, different temperatures of water. So really cool. So there was actually technically four different variations of a 30th anniversary body. 
uh, in 2012. And then we also have a specialized three pack for this year, which included the 30th anniversary black paint scheme, as well as the return of the standard 25th anniversary body, but this time on a chrome painted truck, actually a bare metal truck to be precise here. So a chrome version of that 25th anniversary body, not the one that ran at world finals, but the one that was actually used on the black paint scheme. A one-time only variant from this three pack, which was a anniversary pack, so 20th, 25th, and 30th. And yes, I said 20th, the return since 2002 of the Grave Digger 20th anniversary paint scheme. This is one of my favorite Hot Wheels Monster Jam trucks of all time. It includes a lot of details that were not featured on the original. Much more of the graphics are now visible and they also added the 20th anniversary logo and bad to the bone on the roof like the real truck had. They updated the flames and uh, gave it a green roll cage like the real truck had. So 20th, 25th, and 30th all in one giant pack. One of the most popular and hard to come by packs of all time. It was a Toys R Us exclusive. And in the main line, we also had a couple more releases of Gravedigger. The first being the return of the Red Primer Gravedigger with the new Edge Glow series. So it was basically a clear roll cage series here. And Gravedigger was featured in that subset. So here it is with that uh, classic body there. And then we had the debut of Gravedigger the Legend. And yes, I am going to consider this a Gravedigger because it has the actual name of Gravedigger in it. Uh, I will not be talking about Son of Digger in this uh, series, but Gravedigger Legend does get a mention. So Gravedigger Legend debuts this year in 2012 with this brand new casting as the real truck had as well in real life. So awesome release of Gravedigger Legend. And we have some special edition releases as well. There was a new series of two packs called Then and Now Trucks, and it featured the classic truck versus the modern day paint scheme. So they had this pack set up here with the 30th anniversary black paint scheme versus the red primer truck. But this one's actually much different than the other one you just saw. You can see they actually changed the chassis to be what we call the vintage leafer chassis. So a brand new casting for this new uh, two pack series. And here it is with the grave digger scheme. You can see they also changed the font on the side here because they did do a restoration of the truck and it did get repainted by Kristen Anderson herself. So there it is. And it also has the classic saying on the tailgate, we ain't bad, but the bad don't mess with us right there. And it does have the bed uh, actually filled in for this release because the vintage chassis does not have uh, these roll bars. So it does have a little fill in there. Really, really cool. And we have another release of a Primer Grave Digger, which was part of the Redline Club uh, on HotWheels.com. So this is an exclusive membership that you can purchase and get specialized Hot Wheels cars from it. Uh, during this year for the 30th anniversary of Grave Digger, Hot Wheels did release a Redline Club version of a monster truck, which was the Red Primer Grave Digger. You can see it has a Spectra Flame red body with a mirror-like finish, really, really nice. Uh, lots of little details. Hot Wheels logo, Monster Jam logo on the tailgate, uh, that same bed panel filled in with the chrome. And it also has a fully metal chassis, one of the only modern day trucks to have fully metal and the only vintage chassis to ever be made in metal form. And you can see it even has painted shocks uh, in red and white, and it has that chrome uh, vintage chassis in full metal, as well as chrome gold rims. It is another release of a holiday grave digger, this time with a white roll cage. The only time we see it with a white roll cage, actually. So really awesome to see that as well. I'm not too sure why my paint color of the treads has turned brown, but there is the uh, grave digger from the snow treads or holiday series from Walmart in that year with the white roll cage. And in 2013, we have a far less heavy year of grave digger. We have the standard release of this grave digger yet again. We have the return of the X-Ray series, no longer called X-Racers, but instead now X-Ray with a chrome chassis, metal base, as well as that same uh, feature where they can actually lift off the bodies. This is actually the same color they used in the original, but this time it has the updated graphics. So there is the X-Ray grave digger and we have a singles release of the vintage then and now grave digger with that same tailgate and everything else. The Grave Digger the Legend also returns this year with the same paint scheme style. And we also have the return of the same Grave Digger holiday truck with the green roll cage yet again. And pressing on into 2014, we have this classic Grave Digger yet again. And it will become infamous for its Walmart release where Walmart actually ordered solid cases of Grave Digger. And these lasted in the stores for years to come. Uh, but this is the 2014 Grave Digger. Standard stuff, same stuff as previous ones. We also have an Edge Glow release of Grave Digger. The only time we do see an Edge Glow release of it. So here it is with the classic scheme instead of the vintage one uh, right there. We also have Grave Digger the Legend with the Mud Tread series and a updated uh, roof panel with the 2013 Racing Championship. So there's that. 
Uh, again, the Mud Tread series continuing on. We also have the debut of a new series called Track Ace, which were giant Hot Wheels car wheels. Uh, these actually race really, really well on Hot Wheels tracks, but the Moss Jam community didn't really uh, receive them too well, often referred to as the worst series of all time. But you can see the Track Ace tires were pretty flashy in their own right. And we also had a release of Grave Digger the Legend with them in the same year, as well as a Snow Treads edition of the Track Ace edition of Grave Digger and another release of Grave Digger with the snow treads with the same paint scheme going on and no headlights. So those are the standard Grave Diggers of the year. And then we have some special edition ones, some of the best special edition Grave Diggers of all time, which include the Race Rewards edition of Grave Digger, which features glow-in-the-dark paint, glow-in-the-dark rims, and a glow-in-the-dark chassis with an edge glow roll cage and spectra flame rims, as well as clear tires. And then the first release of a Halloween Monster Jam truck, which was also Grave Digger. My favorite Halloween truck of all time. I love this artwork and we've talked about it also extensively in the Monster Truck Collecting Podcast. It is also the only Gravedigger to feature specialized headlights for its release in Hot Wheels Monster Jam. And there is the Halloween Gravedigger, one of only 5,000 units produced. So there it is for 2014. And in 2015, we didn't have many notable Grave Diggers except for one, but we did have obviously our standard Grave Digger yet again. We had the return of Track Ace Grave Digger. So we did get another release in 2015. Grave Digger Legend does receive an update with its back-to-back -back championship tailgate, so that was a cool little change in that. We have the standard Grave Digger holiday truck with the snow treads again, and the return of the uh, travel treads Grave Digger from a new hauler uh, set. And then the most notable Grave Digger of the year is this one right here, which is the Blackout Grave Digger. And the Blackout series is actually the first Monster Jam chase piece series uh, that Hot Wheels did. They did do two different Chase Piece series, but this is the first one, which was the Blackout Graphics series. They were 3D graphics on a black body with black graphics, a super cool series. And uh, Grave Digger was one of the first ones out in that series itself. And I've decided that for the sake of time and not rushing through our modern years, I'm actually going to end the video here at 2015. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, the support again means the world to me and I really do appreciate everyone that subscribes and watches my videos. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Ryan Armand, Jim OCD, signing out.